So have you ever wondered what Japanese people think about foreigners in their head? I'm sure you are. I have been living in Japan almost for two years, so I decided to talk about this with you and share my own experience, so you could avoid these mistakes. It's Nazarlen, let's get started. Not wearing a mask when you're sick. You may know that Japanese people really do like to wear masks. They're wearing masks even when they're not sick. I will be honest with you, in my class right now, a lot of students are just wearing a mask like an accessory. So, for Japanese people, it's a really simple stuff to wear a mask anytime they're going somewhere outdoors and especially when they are sick, because they are really thinking about the people that are around them. So it's really common here to wear a mask anytime when you are sick. If it happens that you have some fever or you have some cough and you are in the public place, it will be better for you to put on a mask on your face and Japanese people will respect you because you are respecting them. What I recommend you to do is, when you feel yourself a bit sick, you have a runny nose or you are coughing even a little, it's always better to have a mask with you. Just put on a mask and people won't be staring at you every time when you're coughing or doing something inappropriate in the public. I personally have encountered a lot of foreigners not knowing about that. They were coughing, they were having that runny nose and Japanese people were looking at them like some wild animals. So it's always better to have at least one mask with you and just use it every time when you're feeling not good. Fighting in public. You may see a lot of foreigners that are waiting at the station, sitting on the floor without caring about the darkness of that floor, but Japanese people usually don't do that. So, if you're a foreigner coming to Japan and you don't want to look like you're a homeless, because for Japanese people it looks like you don't have enough money to buy some even tea in the restaurant or cafe to wait until you go where you want, so it's always better to go somewhere and have a seat there, or at least find a bench that you could sit on. Think from my own experience, I am also not really used to this practice, I was just sitting on the floor once in the, at the station, and yes, a lot of people, especially Japanese, they were looking at me because I'm quite young and they were just with that look, oh, are you fine there? I was just sitting there waiting for a train, so it just made me understand that they're not used to seeing young, especially young people, see, sitting on the floor. So, if you're coming to Japan and you want to sit somewhere, just always try to find a place where you're able to do that officially, on the bench or at the restaurant, and you can find a library, just whatever. If you want to spare your time, and you want to sit somewhere and you don't want to have that looks on you from Japanese people, just find a place where sitting is allowed. Cleaning up after you eat. For Japanese people it's really common to clean up after they had some meal. If you're going to any restaurant or cafe and you had a meal, it's always better to clean up after yourself. It does mean that you have to make everything perfect there, you just need to make it look appropriate. I mean, if you see some crumbles, see some pots after the drink, just try to clean it a bit and don't leave it as it is, in that disorder, that everything is put on different places and the whole table is full of trash. Just try to put it in one place and try to make it as clean as possible. Especially because you're a foreigner, you're really outstanding in Japan and people will definitely notice that you have done it and they'll appreciate it a lot. I have seen a lot of foreigners just leaving all the trash on the table and the workers were cleaning that trash with not really glad faces. So it's always better to clean up after yourself even a bit. It doesn't matter that you have to make everything perfect. Just don't leave the trash in that disorder. <laughs> Making people wait. Japanese people do consider their time as an important thing. They are not going to waste their time for you. So what you must consider when you're going to some meeting, even with your friends, you always must come in advance at least 10 minutes. Non-spoken rule in Japan. All people here know about it, but foreigners don't, and sometimes they do this mistake that they are coming in one minute before a meeting, and despite Japanese people don't really show their emotions on their faces, they will probably will be annoyed. Because in Japan it's really common to come to the meeting at least 15 or 10 minutes in advance. If you don't do that, well, you'll be hated, I'll be honest with you. I have seen a lot of foreigners that don't know about this role and they were just late. So Japanese people were really concerned about where are they, are they fine or something happened on the road. You always must to confirm it with your Japanese friends, write a message to them 
otherwise they will be angry. Please call to your friends or send a message in advance. And that message must be at least 40 or 50 minutes in advance. It can be just 10 or 5 minutes in advance like oh I'm late sorry because it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Number 5. Talking too loud in public places. A lot of Japanese people tend to talk quietly, even too quiet. Sometimes I don't even hear what I'm they talking about. Ja foreigners are quite opposite to this, they tend to talk too loud. Japanese people really care about their personal space, and they don't like when people are interfering in that personal space. So if it happens you're outdoors and it's Tokyo or Osaka and you're in those famous areas that are full of people and you're talking with your friends, try to care about your voice and especially the volume of that voice. Don't make it sound too loud and don't make sound it too quiet because your friends won't hear you. Just be somewhere in the middle, especially if you're on the train. If you're on the train and you're talking with your friends, well, it's already not really good because Japanese people treat a train a place when you're where you're not supposed to talk at all, you're supposed to be quiet in your thoughts. Japanese people really are not used to people who are talking in such places. And even if Japanese people are talking by themselves, they care about the volume of their voice because they care about the people around them. So you always must consider the people that are around you. You shouldn't be like that American person that says don't care about anybody, you're the best. Care about the people that are looking and staying around you and you'll be fine. I personally have seen a lot of foreigners struggling after that because they were just yelling at Japanese people, those Japanese people who are afraid of them, running or whatever. So when you're even trying for some favor from a person that you don't know, try to approach that person with not a loud voice, try to be quiet and at least say something I'm sorry and care about how loud you're talking. Don't yell at that person. Or at least if you're already a loud person and you're not really aware of that, talk a half lower than you're usually used to and probably you'll be fine. If you will be aware of this reminds of what's annoying Japanese people, you probably will be fine and your experience of being in Japan will be fantastic. And I personally started to care about it almost after one year of living here because I didn't know about a lot of it. I was talking loudly, I was sitting on the floor, but after getting some knowledge, I understood that in Japan it's not really accepted. After considering a lot of things, I finally started to enjoy living in Japan. And if you don't want to struggle with the same thing, just take this reminds and you'll be really, really satisfied of being here in Japan, even if you're tr just traveling. And if you like this video, write some comments down below, I read all of that, press that button like, even if you like this video and it get a lot of views, I'll make a second part about it, so I'll let you know even more what you're supposed to be care about. And it was Norlen, thank you for watching and bye!